So Princess Andrea tells us that she's met her soulmate. Mom and Dad thinking, really? You've been dating a month, right? But after vacationing with the Prince and Princess in Turks and Caicos a couple years ago, and seeing how they talked, agreed, even thought alike, we could see they were made for each other. John is one of the highest quality people I know. He's a great father who raised two amazing kids, Gage and Mason. He's also hard work and passionate and handsome. Even if we've been mistakenly called brothers on more than one occasion, that upsets John. I have no doubt that you'll be a great husband, John, but getting to know Andrea over the years, I found her to be just as hard working, but also an amazing example of what it is to have a kind, giving heart. For those of you that don't know me, I am Ashley, Andrea's sister. And just a few hours ago, I am John's sister-in-law now, too. Welcome to the family, John. I remember the first time I met John was at my Gigi's house for Christmas a few years back. I just remember Andrea telling me how much fun they had together and how much I would really like them. What I found out that day is Andrea and John's chemistry was effortlessly just there. They had all these inside jokes. I hadn't seen Andrea that happy since when she used to make me videotape her to sing in Mariah Carey on the picnic table. <laughs> <laughs> on a serious note, Andrea is someone I admire and I look up to on so many different levels. Whether it's just giving advice or being a good listener, she's always been there for me. Andrea is the type of person who would do anything for anyone she cares about. She always tries to see the good in people, and that's something she got from my Nana. I admire who you are and how humble you are, and that's something John, it, you and John both share because I did see your closet. <laughs> and you both, you both are match for sure. So Prince Jakes, he calls last summer and says he's playing a birthday party for the princess who would like to stop by and discuss the details. Patty hangs up the phone, tells me his plans, then says to me, who celebrates a 37th birthday? Lo and behold, he was there to ask Patty and I for Princess Andrea's hand in that. So mom cried, of course, right? And I forgot to ask JC to see last year's tax returns. But now we all know that John is her prince, her soulmate, and now husband. And so the best part of any fairy tale is they lived happily ever after. Love you guys and congratulations. I'm so grateful that I was able to be here tonight to celebrate alongside John and Andrea. To my very best friend, this beautiful new wife, may you be friends to each other only as lovers can, and may you love each other only as best friends can. Let's raise our glasses and toast to this beautiful couple. May years of happiness and amazing memories await you. May your friendship continue and grow over the years to come. I love you both very much. Congratulations. Andrew and John! Stopping or stalling. We're never growing numb. But we're always growing old. Doesn't matter where we're going. Cause fate already knows it. So we're never getting lost. Cause we got nowhere to go. Something tells me. Hi, Jonathan. Take you, Andrea. Take you, Andrea. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you and be faithful to you as long as we both shall be.
as long as we both show it. It is my distinct pleasure by the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and by the power vested in me to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, sir. Yes, sir.